Hi, welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. My name is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to talk about the differences between backup and archiving and why your company needs both. So let's get started. To begin with, it's extremely important to understand how backup works versus how archiving works. So with backup, there is always a copy of a file or a folder which is created in the cloud or on premise, depending upon what kind of backup solution you're using. On the other hand, archiving does not create a copy. It actually moves that version of the file or folder into that specified location. So that's the real difference between how backup works versus how archiving works. Now, the intention of backup is to be able to recover a file when it's needed for your organization. So let's say an employee uh, deleted an, uh, an email or deleted a file or a folder by mistake and he wants to recover that information, a backup solution will help him recover that from, uh, uh, you know, as a result of the features and functionalities available as part of the backup solution. On the other hand, archiving is only about making the data accessible. It's not about making it recoverable. So real difference is, let's say an employee, uh, uh, you know, falls under, uh, is, is part of an investigation and uh, there is a case uh, which uh, authorities are working towards and they, they, his data needs to be investigated. Now, in this case, his data does not re need to be recovered. It needs to be accessed and the access needs to be with a full audit trail of information of who really had access to it, who are, uh, who are the people in the company who, who really clicked on the specific files, folders, made any changes, etc. So the archiving solution in essence really keeps track and audit trails all of these solutions, all of these aspects of the file, which is really important in case of an investigation. So that's the real difference between the use case of backup versus archiving. Now, coming to the third point, it's from the perspective of a strategy, backup is more short term. So that's from the perspective of recovering the information for, uh, for specific employees, etc. Archiving, on the other hand, is more long term. So if you look at some of the geographies like India, for instance, there is a law of the land which states you need to archive your information as a company for at least seven years. The next aspect to consider is the, strat the duration of the backup and archive. So duration for backup is usually short term. So that's from, done from the perspective of who's using the information and making it recoverable when the time comes. And if an employee actually ends up leaving the organization, his data could be transferred to someone else. And as a result, uh, you know, the backup solution can actually serve a short term purpose. An archiving solution, on the other hand, could have uh, retention periods that uh, a country's law actually defines for uh, their own citizens. So for example, in India, the archiving law for a, for a period of years was that you need to archive your information for up to seven years, seven to 10 years, depending upon what industry you function in. And that is something that uh, organization needs to comply with as far as data archiving is concerned. So that's the real dif objective difference between the term of backup versus the term of archiving. And this brings me to the, to the last point. From the perspective of the data, with backup, the data always keeps changing, but from uh, an archiving perspective, the data is always inactive. So as I, as I mentioned, if there is an investigation for the data for a specific employee, which is actually going on, you can't have that information changing with time. It is always inactive. It is always in a static state. And that's when it really makes sense for an investigation to go uh, to the level where they can actually find, find out about the facts of who had access to the information, whether or not there was anything that was changed with regards to the files, folders, etc. I hope this helps you understand the difference between backup and archiving. I, uh, if you can leave your comments in the comment section below and help me uh, uh, get your feedback, that would be really appreciated. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, this is Pritesh shining off from Cloud Tech Talks. Thank you.